Hi, so I'm back. Um, thank you so much for all the love, the support, the shares, the likes. Um, for my last tutorial, which in case you did not see it, it was how to take a digital PDF or a hard copy worksheet from a workbook and how to make it something digital that students can edit online and can be shared on classroom. So what I ended up having, what ended up happening was a lot of people, people I know, people I don't know, reached out to me and started asking other questions. And I've been just writing all these questions down and I will continue to provide tutorials as long as they are helping the teachers out there during this time of need, teacher strong. Um, so I actually just got done talking with a colleague of mine and he was making a quiz in Google Forms and he did everything right. He made the quiz with an answer key. He assigned point values. He was able to upload it to Classroom, but he just found himself going into Google Forms, taking the grades that he saw in Google Forms and then typing them into Classroom. And he realized that there must be an easier way. And there is, that's too much work. The Google apps, the Google applications, they work together. Um, so when you create a quiz in Google Forms and you upload it to Classroom, if you upload it the right way, the grades from Forms should whoop, be put right into Classroom's gradebook for you. So I set up a fake class here um, and we're going to make a fake quiz that a fake student is going to take. So then we can see from the teacher end to the student end um, how to give the quiz, how to create it and disseminate it, and how to see, how, see what the student end looks like because that's really important too. But then most importantly, once the student takes the quiz and you have a grade, how to have Google Forms automatically send the grade to Classroom because let's be real, we don't need more work, all right? Let's make the tech work for us. So we're not gonna go to create yet. We're gonna actually go into forms and make a very simple one question quiz. A lot of the feedback that I got from people yesterday for the tutorial was that they really appreciated how I kept it basic and assumed that people didn't know anything. So chances are you probably know some of what I'm gonna go through. Um, but I am doing this so that anyone can go into forms and start to play around making their own quiz that will automatically grade itself and the grades will automatically be shared to their Google Classroom. So some people don't have a, an easy time going up here and clicking and finding forms. I hate having to scroll. I'm impatient. Sometimes I have it in my toolbar. Sometimes I can't locate it. So I actually, Go to Google and type Google Forms in because I know it's going to be the first thing that pops up. And there's no shame in my game. So you're going to go to Google Forms and make sure that you're logged in under your email address associated with your school, the one that's connected to your classroom, or the things will not communicate. So I go to Google Forms and I'm going to click to make a new Google quiz, a new um, quiz, blank quiz right here. If it lets me click. All right, so I'm gonna first name this. I'm gonna name it fake quiz. Whoops, over eager there. And then it's important up top here to also put your name because if you are looking for this later on, or if you start to build a great digital resource library, you're going to be able to use this in the future. Um, so names in your Google Drive are really important so you can keep it all neat and tidy. So fake quiz. We're going to just keep it very basic. Um, this tutorial is assuming that you have a little bit of familiarity with Google Forms. Um, if you don't and you're interested in a tutorial based on just Google Forms, please add a comment um, and I will definitely consider putting one up there purely on Google Forms ins and outs. So we're gonna just do a basic multiple choice, one question quiz, the good old what color is the sky question. It's multiple choice. Um, it is important that 
you know there's so many different answer formats. The easiest for a self-grading quiz is multiple choice, obviously. Um, other ones you can do, but I'm not going to get into that right now. Just really simple multiple choice. So blue, red, yellow, let's even say purple. Get crazy. So what color is the sky? Obviously, we know the answer is blue. We want to make sure we toggle this required switch here so that students have no choice about skipping over this. And on answer key, you're going to assign a point value. So I told you it's going to be just a one point question. And we only have one question in this quiz. So our entire quiz is just going to be worth one point. If a student gets this correct and does perfectly on this quiz, they've earned a one out of a one. So then lastly, make sure you click and you see the blue or blue. Yeah, good job. Um, see the green uh, check mark here. And you see that you have assigned a correct answer and you've also assigned a point value for that question. So we're pretty much done on our quiz end. And quizzes, you see it says all changes saved in Drive. Anything in any of the Google applications, they auto save. So always look up top somewhere and they'll, you'll see it every now and then will say all changes saved. Um, that's one thing I love about it. It's not like back in the day when we'd have to keep clicking save and be worried that we'd lose everything. Um, it auto saves as we go. So now I'm going to go back into my teacher page um, for my classroom and I'm going to go to create. You're going to notice it says assignment, quiz assignment, question, material, reuse, post, topic. So I'm just posting this as an assignment. If you, you'd be thinking, well, why isn't she doing the quiz assignment? The quiz assignment, if I click on it, it puts a blank quiz down here for me to then interact with. And it kind of like does that step for me, but I was already in forms and I think it's a pain to have to click out of something. So I already formatted it as a quiz in forms. So I'm just going to assignments. I'm gonna go to assignment and then I'm gonna type in fake quiz. Now, if I had any specific instructions I want students to read before they enter the quiz, I could add them here. And then I'm gonna click on add. It's located in my Google Drive. Remember we said it everything auto saves there. And it should be popping up here. There it is, fake quiz. All right. Now, some options that people miss. And sometimes it's also something that you didn't miss, but you didn't set your assignment up so that it would have it here. So see, it has this locked mode on Chromebooks. When I'm in my classroom during the year, I am very fortunate that all of my students have Chromebooks. So I can click this, which basically locks them out of going to different tabs and moving around. Um, right now, because we're learning remotely, I don't know if all of my students are on Chromebooks every day. So I don't bother with that one. Um, it's an easy way in um, the classroom to monitor because if a student X out, and then they go back in, you get a notification saying that they left the quiz and came back in, um, I guess, to see if a student was like possibly cheating, looking at something else. Um, it's just another way of monitoring. So this is the really important one, grade importing. See how it's moved? It's toggled on pink. That's off. I want that to be on. That is the magic switch. If that switch is there and it is on, I can have the capability once all of my students have taken my quiz for Google Forms to send all of the grades right over to my classroom. So I am not taking them, typing them, looking, typing, looking, typing. Um, it saves me a lot of work. So who doesn't want work saved, right? Um, so with that, I'm gonna look over here. I'm just gonna move my face over for you. Um, I'm posting it in the fake class. If you wanted to post to multiple classes, that would be your chance to go to your other classes. Your point value. Well, if you remember my point value from the form, it was just one, right? If a, perf if a perfect score was to happen, it would be a one out of one. Um, I'm gonna purposely leave it as 100 so that you're able to see 
the Google form, when you do the points there, will always override what you have in Classroom. So I'm leaving it as 100 to make a point and show you. You can add a due date. If you organize your classroom with topics, you would add the topic that you'd like it to be under. Um, I'm just going to go and assign it. Last thing I want to just bring your attention and make a point. Notice that this assignment just has the quiz in it by itself. If I had added, because I could add more things in here, if I add more things, there's a chance that I won't be able to turn this grade importing button, this grade importing switch on. Make sure before you click this assign that this switch is on. All right. So I could assign it or I could schedule it or save it. I want to assign this right away. All right. Give it a second here. So it's there on the teacher end. So now I'm going to bring you over to a student's page to see from the student's perspective. So just going to quickly refresh it like the student just logged into this fake class from Mrs. Almada. And you'll see it's posted on the stream. Sometimes students, they could access it here. Or if you organize your classroom by topics to make it a little more visually appealing for students, which this does not have right now, that would be in the classwork category. So I'm going to go in through here. And as the student right now, we're going to take the quiz. I know it's a really hard quiz. What color is the sky? Blue. All right. So the student's sure. She wants that answer. It's one point. And she submits it. Now she, because I allowed the score to be shown, um, and I'll show you where that setting is in a second, it says, oh, good job. You got a one out of a one. Awesome. On the teacher end, so I'm just going to leave the students. She got a one out of a one, which is awesome. On the teacher end, it is up here. If I wanted students to be able to see their grade, so I'm just going to get out of this because I didn't say it slowly for you. Click on the settings. There's the general presentation and quizzes. You're going to click quizzes. And there is the option that you could have it released immediately. During remote learning, I've, in my own opinion, noticed my students really appreciate seeing a grade right away um, because they don't get as much instant feedback. So I like that setting. Unless if you wanted to, you could have later um, after manual review. And that is after you look through everything, you could then click the button in forms to release the grades. All right. So here, this is the teacher end. That's where we edit it. You're going to see we have a response now from our fake student. So our fake student, yay, she did really well. She got a one out of one. And it breaks it down with some analytics. So if you had multiple questions, you'd see in green the ones that got it correct versus the others that helps you to really assess your questions um, and their validity and reliability. Um, so, all right, let's get to where you want to know. Now we have the grade here. And when I have in the 40s amount of students, and I know that there are people who have way more students, especially if you are secondary ed um, or departmentalized like us, you want back in the teacher end here. You want to be able to have your grade here for the student. And you don't want to have to go from here to take the grades for however many students you have and type them. So you're actually really simply going to go into the actual assignment, view assignment, OK? And see over here, it says blank out of 100. Because remember, in classroom, I did not change the points. I left it as 100, even though we know it's a one out of a one, right, that she got. Well, Brianna, she's the one that was the one who completed this, my fake student. There's this import grades button. That button is only there because of how I set it up in the assignment when I created the assignment in classroom. So let's watch. Remember, it should be a one out of one that this blank out of 100 changes do. So I'm going to go to import. Are you sure you want to import grades from fake quiz? Uh-huh. 
Importing grades will override the current grades in classroom. See that it's going to override it. And let's watch one out of one. So you do not have to take all of the grades that you get from a form, look at the form and go back here. You actually, once you create this, you really don't need to go back in here unless you want to be looking at the question analytics. I like to look at those because I like to every now and then look to see, oh, most of my students got this question wrong. It may have been the wording of my question. So it helps me to reflect on the validity of the assessment. But you really could just when you're done and ready to import the grades, just be all in classroom to import them. And they will all appear here, which if you have a classroom larger than one student, like my fake class, all of your students would be there. I hope that this video is helpful. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out.